All right, folks, welcome back to 101 Taylor Tax Tips. For the next five tips, tips 31 through 35, I'm gonna share with you tips to help with saving taxes on stock, stock options, restricted stock units, or RSUs. So tip 31 is about making an election to have your RSUs or stock options tax upon grant and how this will help you to reduce taxes. You might be asking, well, if I have my RSUs or stock options tax at grant, why or how would this help me to reduce taxes? Well, this is because you can make what's known as an 83B election. And that election allows you to tell the IRS that you would rather have your RSUs or stock options taxed upon grant as opposed to when they vest. So the idea behind this is that you would prefer to have the tax happen upon the seed than to happen upon the harvest. And you would then choose to pay taxes up front because you believe that the taxes that you would pay later would be greater. In this way, then you reduce the taxes. Let me give a concrete example of this. When I, when I joined Google in 2016, I was granted 700 what Google calls GSUs, Google stock units, similar to RSUs. And those 700 GSUs were valued at $700 per share at the time. Had I made an 83B election, I could have saved as much as $210,700 on my taxes. But because I didn't make that election, I ended up paying that much more. Now, obviously there's some assumptions that I'm leaving out in, in this illustration, but I just want to give you a sense of the power of making an 83B election. The 83B election does have very specific things that you must do and a very specific timeline by which you must make the election. If you're interested in learning more about what the timeline is or how to fill out that form, drop me a comment and also I will drop my email address in the description of this video below and feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to share more with you. Now there's some caveats about the 83B election which I think would be helpful for me to share with you. So the first one is that when you make the election, you are assuming that the price or the value of the stock units or stock options are going to be much higher in the future. If it turns out that the value is actually lower, then you would end up paying more tax than you should have paid. And also, there is the risk that if you are either laid off or you don't reach the vesting events or qualification to have the stock units or GSUs or RSUs vest, that you would lose the money that you've paid in taxes because the IRS won't give that back to you. Yet, you must weigh all of this out to see if this makes sense for you. All right, y'all. So if you've liked this video, please smash that thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. If you think this video will help someone else, please share the video with them. And here comes my disclaimer. I share these tips based on my education, my experience, and my expertise in managing my tax affairs. If you believe that this tip would be helpful for you, you must consult with a qualified tax professional to see whether this tip would be useful given your unique circumstances. All right, y'all. See you soon.